Hello everyone, in this video I'll be going over the two bash commands CD and MV. So let's go over CD first. If I execute the command LS, prints the standard out the contents of the current working directory that I'm in. Say I want to change my current working directory. That's what the CD command does. So let's go over the ways that CD works. For the first one we'll pass in a directory name to CD. So if I want to change my current directory to desktop, I'll type into the command prompt cd followed by the directory name, so desktop. I'll press enter. And if I do pwd to print the working directory, notice that my directory is now desktop. Now when I do cd desktop, bash is looking for a desktop directory in the current working directory that I'm in. Let's say I want to go to a directory that's not in the current directory that I'm in. Now I can do an absolute path. What I mean by absolute path is that it's a, it's a full path that starts from the home directory and traces through every directory until you get to the, the, the target directory that you want. So if I do cd tilde slash applications when I do tilde slash, that means I want to start at my home directory. And then from there, I want to go to the applications directory in my home directory. This way, notice that I've changed to the applications directory. Now, if I go back to my desktop directory, notice I'm in my desktop again. And if I did cd applications, it says no such file or directory. Since I didn't pass in an absolute path, it's looking for applications inside the current working directory. Since there is no applications directory, I cannot change my directory to it since, you know, it doesn't exist. So I'm in my, my desktop directory. And say I want to go backwards one directory into my Evelyn Lokion home directory. Instead of having to do cd tilde slash, there's an easier way to go backwards. It's cd dot dot. Now notice I've gone backwards one directory. So let's go deeper. Let's go into cd desktop, cd cs14, cd homework 5. Now look at my current working directory. To get back to my home directory, I would have to do cd dot dot three times. Well, if I want to go back to my home directory, no matter where I am, all I have to do is input cd. Now, if I print my working directory, look, I'm back in my home directory. Another useful way to go to have an absolute path that's really fast is using the tab completion. So the way tab completion works is, let me write down cd and since I'm in my Evelyn Lokion directory, I want to go back into my homework 5 directory. Now instead of having to type down desktop cs14 homework 5, look down on the bottom left corner to my keyboard viewer and notice what happens when I press tab. It completed the word that I was trying to say. That's what tab completion does. When I press tab, it has an educated guess of what you're trying to write based on what you have written so far. So all you have to do is write down a couple characters, press tab complete, and it will most likely guess what you want to do. So again, all I have to do is tab tab. And now if I print my working directory, I'm back in there. A good thing to pair with CD is the MV command. MV moves a file from one directory to another. Let's say I want to move my homework5.h file into my home directory. So the syntax for this is MV the file name which is homework5.h and the absolute path of which you want to of where you want to put it. So if I want to put it in my home directory, I'll do that and then press enter and if I cd to go back to my home directory and do ls Look, homework5.h is now there. And that's it. Thank you for watching again.